Eric and Eric here with Musky Homebrew, and today, you guys see it, you know what it is. This is what we have, and this is what we're reviewing. Pliny the Elder by Russian River. We finally got a bottle. This is it. Review time. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> We're gonna open the bottle up, tell you what we think about it. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Let's do it. So, we've been trying to get this beer for a long, long time. Ever since we heard about it. Ever since we heard about it. Ever since we started drinking beer. Ever since we thought about, found beer. out about it. IPAs. Knew what an IPA mm. was. Found out that it's one of the most highly rated IPAs. And Eric was fortunate enough to find it on a trip to California. I was. Thank you, sister and brother-in-law, for helping me get it. <laughs> we'll know. do a minute. We'll do a minute. We yeah. always do a minute. Yeah, I, I like doing just in case. All right. you know. We'll do the minute. My fingerprint doesn't work on your phone, though. That's a problem. You, you got to use the pattern. <laughs> we have the same pattern. I know. <laughs> it's crazy. When we never talked about this. I just noticed one day he unlocked his phone, and he has the same fucking pattern I do on my phone. Okay. Anyway, one minute on the clock. Here we go. Fun musky fact. <laughs> Pliny the Elder by Eric and Eric from Muskie Homebrew, 5958. Pliny the Elder, here we go. Nice gold, clear, yellow in the light. Pretty gold color. Looks uh, like you're dehydrated and you peed yellow. Good observation. Big, fluffy, <laughs> white head. When it uh, well lasted. Mostly gone. Real nice small lace. bubbles, nice tight bubbles. Nice lacing on the cup. Had to fit that in there. Aroma is kind of a fruity, uh, slight piney, a little bit of like piney bitterness almost. It's like running through pine trees. <laughs> Are you on Twilight or something? I'm a wolf, bitch. Mmm. <laughs> the flavor is what gets you. It's so flavorful for like a solid and true IPA. It just, and then it cleans up so quickly. It's just one of those, it's just something that it's like, if you could think of the cleanest drinkable IPA, it would probably be that. Mm hmm. I would agree. That's loud. Your phone's louder than mine. I have to wake up at 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> it's gotta be loud. Uh, regardless, this is fantastic IPA. Very true to the roots of an actual IPA. None of this New England hazy, bazy, beigey. Hot bombs, which are also good. It's a classic IPA. Classic. It's, it's, like, it's just, like comparing, we were just saying, yep. comparing your 69 Camaro to your 2017 Camaro. 69 Camaro, classic. Mm -hmm. Always good. People are always going to look at it. 2017, Wait. kind of a fan. Could be, you know. Could be. Could be one of those things, you know. It's it's new, it's exciting, but people are always going to come back, say, this is a classic. This is always where, where everything originated. It's a clean beer. It's easy to drink. Hands down, Cleans some of the so best well. beer we've we've been able to taste. Yeah, and we've wanted to try this for so long. Yeah. So. Yeah. And uh, thank you, thank you to Eric's brother-in-law and sister for. Uh, it was actually Lance that went up with me and grabbed it. We drove up like 25 minutes to some random ass. So liquor thanks store to Lance, Hills. we have the opportunity <laughs> to taste or <laughs> taste this beer. Yeah, that was fun. Um, Brady, what do, we, what do we give it? <sighs> Fuck. Uh, I, it really shouldn't be this hard. I mean, it it is probably one of the best IPAs that we've ever had. Yes. Four seven five. I would say four seven five. Yeah. We've never given a beer a perfect score before. We have. Oh, that's true. We have, and I think it was Zombie Dust. <sighs> is this the perfect IPA? That is the question. It's Zombie drink. Dust is probably the perfect pale ale. Pale ale. Yeah. Fuck it. I think we need to give it a five. I think we can give it to five. I think it's a five. It's overall so well rounded, so easy to drink. Just, it's got the bitterness an IPA is supposed to have, but it's got the drinkability that you, you, you want, want in a have. beer. Yes. It's just, I say we give it a five. I say we give it a five too. I, I think that's a good it rating. It is true to the roots of an IPA. We get so many new and crazy styles to try and grasp a section of people that love hops and hop bombs yep. now that this is true to its style. And I say we give it a five. Five out of five. Second beer. Yep. Second beer we've ever given a five to. 
plenty of the other. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure to follow us on social media, subscribe to our page, and we will see you guys next time. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Woo, this was a good one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>